singing some mantras. Okay, everybody, hello on Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, so let us know where you where are you tuning in from. That would be lovely to know. Um, so today we will be singing a few mantras, very special mantras, and uh, we we would love for you to join in. And you can join in with singing along, but also with playing some instruments. So yeah. today we've got some chimes here. No, I'm doing the chime. You don't touch your chime. Okay. And we've got, got some danga. <laughs> and we've got some shakers. And I have these symbols. They're called kartals. So if you have anything in your house that can make a noise, it can be a music, a, a musical instrument, a shaker, or you can get a pot and a and a, and a spoon <laughs> and join in. So playing instruments is is a, is a lovely way to join in. But also, don't forget to have sing fun. and have fun. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay. So before we have to say something. Yes. So you have so you have to remember this. So it. You, you have to remember this, this because because it it's like a magic spell that you have to it's like a ball the ball the ball the ball the ball something like that which can make you happy. Oh, that's a lovely. So addition, so, so 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 this so, so if you if you sing along and you and you're a bit sad and gloomy. Then if you sing along, you'll you'll like you'll be oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes, that's right, that's right. So if you're singing along, and if you're singing for a long time, especially at the end, you're definitely gonna be walking around like that, saying I'm happy. So we to, to begin with, we're gonna say hello in Sanskrit, and that's Namaste. Can you say all together? Namaste. namaste. We have a little song for you. Namaste. Yes. So a little song. Namaste to the earth. Namaste to the sky. Oh, sun. Yes, that's right. To the sun. Let's repeat all together. Namaste, namaste to the earth. Namaste to the sun. Namaste to the soul in everyone. All namaste, namaste to the soul in everyone. Namaste, namaste to the flowers and the birds and the trees. Namaste, namaste to the flowers and birds and the trees. Namaste to you. Namaste to me. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Oh, something is ringing out there. What is this? Is this a chair? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So, namaste to all of you. And now we'll start with the first mantra, with the first chant. And it's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. We'll put him on my lap. We'll put him on my lap. It's fine. It's too late now. <laughs> we'll, we'll put him on my lap. We'll find a space for him when he comes. He's not there. So I have another son, Anjali's brother, and we, we hope he'll make an appearance today, but he might be shy when it comes, so we'll see. He's, so. he's, he's, he's super cute. Yeah, he is. And he's also my best friend. Yeah. Okay, so we'll sing uh, our first mantra, and that will be a mantra for protection. We will be singing to Narasimha. Uh, this is a form. Magical. Yes, it's a form or avatar of, of God named Narasimha. And he is half lion, half man. So it's like a lion? So which part is the lion? Which part is the, the, the human? Or is the it top. Like he has a lion head. Big and, big I and fierce, I, I but at the same time very loving. Mommy, and, mommy, and look, we have a deity of him there. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I wanted to put him on that table. It's all right. <clears throat> Even show. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is Narasimha. This is him. There you go. 
Thank you, Anjali. Thank like you. A, he's like a lion, Anna. Yeah. Anna. Thank you. Okay, so we'll sing a little chant for Narasimha. Please join. It's, it goes like this. Shri Narasimha, Jai Narasimha. Oops. Okay. Can you join Anjali? Shri Narasimha, Jai Narasimha. Jai Jai Narasimha Dev. Jai. The, the, the tune. Okay, we can sing that too. Shri Simha, Jai Simha, Jai Jai Simha Dev. And then the second part is a little bit more tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to get it after a while. Prahladesha Jai Padma Mukha Padma Bringa. Prahladesha Jai Padma Mukha Padma Bringa. So when, when we are singing this mantra, you can bring to mind, remember somebody that you really, really love, and uh, you can sing and ask Lord Narasimha to protect them. And I, me and Anjali will be praying for Anjali's beloved teacher. My favorite teacher. Oh, yes. Whose name is Mother Dantasya. Mm -hmm. They call her mother at school because she loves everybody. Uh, all the children like a mother, like they're like her own children. So she's in a hospital and she's really unwell. And we would like to offer this chant, offer this prayer uh, to Lord Nasimha uh, in her in her uh, in her honor and ask him to protect her and take good care of her. Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. She let us in her, Let us in her, Jai, 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 Shri Narasimha, Jai Narasimha, Jai Jai Narasimha De. Shri Narasimha, Jai Narasimha, Jai Jai Narasimha De. Prahadesha, Jai Padma, Mukha Padma, Bringa. Prahadesha, Jai Padma. Mukha Padma Bhinda Shri Narasimha Jai Narasimha Jai Jai Narasimha De Shri Narasimha Jai Narasimha Jai Jai Narasimha De Shri Narasimha Jai Narasimha Jai Jai Narasimha Jai Please join in. Shri Narasimha Jai Narasimha Jai Jai Narasimha Jai Pradesha Jai Padma Mukha Padma Bhinda Pradesha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bhinda Thank you for playing your chimes, Anjali. That is lovely. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> now we'll be telling Anjali will be telling us a little story that she wanted to to tell you all, and um, that is a story of Agasura. Wow, Agasura. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit scary, right, Anjali? But it ends really, really well, and the main character. Of that story is Lord Krishna. I just maybe if you watched the other one last time, then you would remember that he stole the gopis' clothes and hid them in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Krishna can be very cheeky, but Krishna can also protect, right? And he's, he's very, very brave. He's very, very brave and he protects all <laughs> of his friends. Yeah. So can you tell us the story, Anjali? Uh-huh. Okay. Listen up very carefully. <laughs> Turn your ears on. <laughs> I'll turn mine on. Okay, and put full, full, full blast sound on. Full blast sound on. Purr. 
Perfect. Okay, now. Okay, so one day, Krishna was sitting under a tree playing his flute. And his friends were all listening and taking care of the cows. And then all of a sudden, they saw this big cave. Because, because, um, so the cows, they ran off closer to that cave. So they look, and when they saw where the cows were going, they saw this big cave. And then, so then they approached it. And there was a big bouncy path. It was a super, super, duper, 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 duper bouncy. It was like a slimy trampoline. <laughs> very disgusting. But very bouncy and fun. <laughs> <laughs> what was that cave? I'm going to tell you later. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that big cave. Okay, so when they were going on the path, they were bouncing. And one of the boys, he was he was very big. And he was like, I want to go get some mangoes. I'm hungry and I'm getting a bit scared. Let's not mm -hmm. go. And they're like, and all the other camera boys are like, come on, mother, come on, you can do it. <laughs> so they wanted to go and check out what's inside the cave. Yeah. So when they approached the cave, they smelled this disgusting smell. It tasted like rotten, I don't know, rotten bananas mixed with fish. It was super smelly. And they were like, ugh, we're definitely going to need a bath when we get home. <laughs> so when they approached um, Madhu, he, he found this big teeth, um, this big tooth, right? But it, it just looked like a rock that was shaped it, like a tooth. So he touched it and he wiped it off because it, it had like, I don't know, something disgusting on it. Like it had mold or something on it. And they were like, <laughs> Okay, so, so then we went on and on, and then bats flew out, and, we went, ah! and then... bats started flowing out, and then Krishna, he was still, he was watching them go in, and then the, there, and then there, he saw an eye open up, <gasps> and Krishna was like. And then and Agasura was like, and and so Agasura was that big cave, and that slimy path, trampoline path, was his was his tongue. So who was Agasura? He was a big snake, and he was eight miles or meters, eight miles long. He was ginormous. His 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 jaw was in the in the clouds and, and his his, lip, so his lips the were in the clouds and his jaw, jaw was on, on the, the ground. ground. My wide open mouth is just, just like a cave. cave. <laughs> okay. So so they went in, they creeped in, and then all of a sudden but then Krishna he ran, he he started sprinting all the on the tongue and like moonwalking almost. He was like, whoa, 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 because he was like really bouncy. So he was like getting on, and so then he was chasing the yeah, friend, and then, his friends. Right? Yeah, and then and then the tongue started rolling up, started rolling up behind him. So he was like running, running, running. And then when when the boys got inside, the top the inside his mouth it was really slimy and slippery. So they slid down like a like a they slid down like a, like it was a slide. And then they and then there was an up. So then they went up and had to hold on to the tooth from the from the sky because from from his from his lip from his upper throat because otherwise it would fall into this goo which would kill them. Oh no! So Agasura ate them. He swallowed them. Basically. Oh, so then, God. so then Krishna, he was running, he was running, he was running, and running and running and running and running and running. And then when he came near the mouth, so he has this thing where when he looks into the eyes of a demon, he the demon sees 
him in like with this crown and peacock feather and golden armor. That's what happened. So he, they were like, oh, he was like, no, he's coming to kill them. The angel of death. <laughs> <laughs> the one that comes and told me about. So then, so he, he was, Krishna was running in and Agastura was like trying and trying to, to swallow him. And Krishna, he was like surfing on the slimy tongue instead of sliding down, he was surfing. <laughs> and so then, so then he, so then he got to this place and he started growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And those cowboy boys, they looked and their arms were like slipping off because they were distracted. And they all fell into the goo. <gasps> and Krishna was like, Krishna was, and Krishna was growing, growing bigger, bigger, and and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until like a sura pop popped. <laughs> Oops. He popped open. <laughs> and 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 then and then and then so then Krishna he he. He, he found all his friends. He found all his friends. He 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 uses his magical powers to lift them up out of the goo and put them down. Then he played his flute a special tune, which got a very special rain cloud Ooh. to come. And a very special rain cloud came over the over the cowherd boys and sprinkled water. Sprinkled up water. <laughs> it, it sprinkled magic water, which. And then, and then the cowboys, most of, one, a bunch of them woke up, and then only one was still sleeping, and they're like tickling him, and, and like, they didn't ah, know ah, 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 ah. The boys didn't even know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, they woke up as if nothing had happened to them. They weren't inside a mouth of big, big monster, Agasura, yeah. and they didn't even know that Krishna saved them. They were just waking up from a scary dream, and Krishna was just playing his flute. flute do, 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 do. I am your best friend, loving and, and hand. And then all, all of their, all of the coward boys, mommies and daddy, and they're like, what happened? What's this big thing? And then, and then, the, and then Krishna explained, and then they were all happy that their sons and their, and their, and their, uh, that their sons were all happy. Yay. And then they used his mouth as a playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. So then they were all playing inside the cave without the any fear of any end. monsters. The end. Thank you, Anjali. Mm -hmm. Lovely story. So were you a little bit scared in the beginning? What did it sound like a scary monster? But as I promised, the end was very nice. It was very happy. So now Anjali will be singing a little tune to us, which I'm sure Krishna's friends would be singing as well. And it's a tune of, uh, it's called the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna Mantra. So it's simple three words, Hare Krishna and Rama. And it goes like this, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Yeah, so it's like a rhyme. It goes it goes and repeats over and over. So Anjali will be singing one line, and then let's join in all together. Bring your pots and pans, bring your shakers and drums and all the musical instruments you've got, and join in. Oh, <laughs> 
One more time, all together. We we're singing Haribo, 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 all together. Mommy, and what does Haribo mean? What does Haribo mean? Bo means chant, sing, repeat, 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 repeat. And Hari means that it's the name of God, another name. So we were singing Nishingadev, Narasimha, and we were singing Krishna and Rama, and now it's Hari. Hari is another name. And uh, <laughs> Hari bol means chant, chant the name yeah. of Hari, glorify, glorify Hari. Okay, and so it goes like this, Hari bol, Hari bol, and sometimes we add to it, Nitai Gora Hari bol, Nitai Gora Hari bol. So please get all your pans and all your spoons and all your drums and let's sing all together. Nitai Gora Hari bol, Hari bol.